we're back. All right, so we're working on the stick. Uh, <clears throat> as I was telling you guys, we are gonna try to use our Cayman. This is real. It's like probably from the 1970s, maybe 80s. I don't know, my uncle went to the Amazon or something. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're making the stick. So um, we don't have, this is, I mean, you can use, uh, you could draw, you can um, uh, sculpt it. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned Mike Stinnett uh, on it where he basically did, does his sculpting first. Um, well, this is our live, dead kind of model. Uh, basically, just a rough to get the things out of it. Now, I noticed that we have a, a nasty, nasty crack going on here, which we filled in earlier, which is okay because um, we will carve, fill it in, see what happens, and then keep on going. So step one, you know, well, step whatever we're at, three, four, ten, whatever, just make sure that you have your image on there where you want to do it. So we have to get rid of quite a bit of this because the tail is going to be here. We're using this. Like, the reason I'm keeping this is... Um, I noticed that when I'm walking with a, a cane, I have nowhere to hook it. Now, honestly, I'll hook this to my belt. It, it, it might seem funny, but I do it. Or if I'm hanging it somewhere on a chair or, you know, like it just, it works. It, you know what, when you get a piece of wood that works with you, you use it. Uh, the bow, not as bad. It did come back a bit. We'll figure out something else. Uh, my brother has a, has a steamer. Might even just go see him. We'll see. But let me set this up so we can start carving. So the first thing we'll do again is we'll get the shape. So we'll get this out, this out, you know, sort of in the girth because this is way too big. I mean, you have to have onto the giant hands. Itchy. Um, let's do that. So let me set this up and show you what we're gonna do. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our cut over. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get out as much. We took, we took it to the saw, uh, to the band saw, and we just kind of tacked up a bit, which is fine. It'll, it'll basically come off. So uh, we're gonna get our safety goggles on here, and we're gonna put our fan on, and then to the point of it, I'll just basically blur out all the noise, okay? So check it out. <laughs> We got lots of room to work with. Like, I mean, it's a big, this is a big stick. We got lots of room to go with. All right, so let's keep on going. All right, guys. So, kind of made her, came and gave it a look, I guess, sort of. So now you're gonna draw in some legs in that. I'm gonna bring you guys down to see, to show you what I'm doing here. Um, again, so we're gonna try to, take out the leg part so we'll just
don't know what happened there, but half my fucking video went off. All right, guys, sorry about that. So let's keep on going to where we were and where we started off as. So uh, we shaped out the Cayman as much as we can. That's what it looks like. And then we started on putting the legs in there. And I was videoing it, but I don't think I was. It just wasn't going through. So basically, we're just trying to get that shape for the legs, bring in the body, because we still have a lot of room to bring this handle down. Um, we'll try it again. We'll bring you guys down and see what is going on. <laughs> Before we get any further with carving, um, I noticed that the stress crack is getting a little and a little bit more um, deep. So we're gonna stop at this tonight and we're just gonna make this video as it is. But what we're gonna do is just take some uh, wood glue and we're gonna take our sawdust. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix it up. We're gonna make ourselves a a little patch, I guess you could say. We want to get it nice and mooky. All right. And then we're going to fill it in. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to help it so that hopefully, and we say hopefully, it'll stop cracking, but I really doubt it will until you, you put like something on it, like an epoxy or even a stain that would help it out. So we're going to finish this off like this tonight. Uh, we're gonna let it dry for 24 hours because it's already late at night here and uh, We'll see what happens tomorrow if we have time and then we'll keep on going so um, I'll show you the progress what we're doing at the end. I mean a lot of it is to do with uh, just Adding this and then letting it dry and then seeing if we need to add more I'd like to get it at least level so that when I do keep on carving tomorrow um, we don't have an issue. We can still go over it. Like we're just gonna build it up, and then, like I said, all you do is push it in there and push. We're gonna try to push as deep as we can because we really want it to get into those into this huge crack. And this is something that just it, it's a stress crack. Um, it happened. I tried filling it up earlier. It kind of opened up again. But that's just the way wood is. It just it does that. But we can we can help it. We can definitely help it. And, uh, you know, just like anything else, we'll fill it, let it dry, fill it, let it dry. And eventually, uh, the finished result will be more of, uh, you know, when we sand it. It should look like it's there. Okay? So, keep on watching. Uh, part three will be soon enough. All right, guys? Thanks for watching. Choose your own path.